it's, dance can be extremely abstract. It's very interesting, but it's, it's abstract to me. I'm interested in human beings. The most important for me is how real they can be, how credible they are in what they try to, to express. It's a permanent conversation. Performance, it's a plus. It's for the audience. What I'm interested in is being in the studio, creating a ballet with the dancer, sharing with them, seeing a human being progressing, uh, getting deeper into himself, finding a, a new way of doing things and getting more and more precise in his way of moving, of dancing. I never really have what I want. Never. Because there is too many possibility with 50 people to not be exactly the way I imagine things. But you know, sometimes the color they propose me is much more beautiful than the one I even thought. Not always. But when it happens, it's magical. Even if people don't know about dance, they all heard about Swan Lake. The story is simple. It's a prince trying to get married. He doesn't find really the love he would like to have. At one point, uh, he decides to leave and to go into the, the, the woods. And then suddenly in the woods, he discovers a very beautiful creature, which is a swan. And in the traditional version, the white swan and the black swan, they are always danced by the same woman. And in my version, it's two different women. Probably to show the two main form of desire you can have in love. How do we deal with passion, with desire? He's torn between those two desires. And uh, this very specific story is actually a beautiful metaphor of what is the relation between human beings. How do we deal with our desire? How do we deal with death? Because at the end, it's very dramatic. A lot of people are dying, but the beauty of love will survive to everything. I think it's, it's, it's not a happy ending, definitely not, but I feel like saying which life is happy when it actually ends. Uh, every single life are ending at one point. So you can consider that the end of life is something tragic, but you also can consider that the end of life it's okay if your life was beautiful. So uh, I just look for a kind of uh, relation for the audience between the strength of the music of Tchaikovsky, which is so strong, so emotional, and uh, what you relay on the stage and what you see with the dancers. And it's very difficult in ballet to be that precise in the story. You can do that in a movie, but in a ballet, you have to leave a space to the freedom of people to somehow connect to the story the way they want, because we're not the same. I don't know how, for example, in the Thailandish culture, how the people are going to react when they're going to see that. Probably it's very different than a European person watching that, depending on where you're born. The only thing that is very common to all of us it's probably how do we feel about love? And being in love with somebody is something that is common to every single human being. So I'm very curious to see how the people are attracted to the ballet, how they connect to the story, but most of it, how the people dance. In general, I am a choreographer that is very uh, interested with the narration, how you, how you talk about a story. I love to study and to combine uh, the capacity of acting of dancers with the capacity of dancing. So they all know that when I work with them, they always have a text in their head. When they move, when they speak, when they dance, they are talking to themselves. Because when you talk to yourself, your body reacts. If I show a dancer just a movement and I'm not connecting that movement to something you can think, the movement will always be a little bit empty. So what's very specific about my work is that every single movement those dancers do, they have an intention that is very specific, that is being precise, that they have in the head. And I will work with them as long that this can be read without words. 
dance can be extremely abstract. Very interesting, but it's, it's abstract to me. I'm interested to people. I'm interested in human beings. I even like to talk about people before I like the dance. You see, choreography for me is a tool to connect with audience. But I'm not a fanatic about the, the movement himself. The most important for me is how real they can be, how credible they are in, in, in what they try to, to express. It's unlimited. Each individual will propose you something that is interesting. I always say, even the worst dancer has my deep sympathy because I don't think people realize how difficult and hard it is to be a dancer. How much involvement, sacrifice, pain, uh, suffering you go through to gain happiness, to gain joy of doing something that is uh, difficult. It's a permanent, permanent conversation. So what dance brings me, me, it's being in the studio with the dancers and sharing that all the time. Performance, it's a plus, it's for the audience. What I'm interested in, it's being in the studio, creating a ballet with the dancer, sharing with them, finding ideas, seeing a human being progressing, uh, getting deeper into himself, finding a, a new way of doing things and getting more and more precise, more and more articulate in his way of moving, of dancing. Um, this permanent work progression that you can see. I never really have what I want, never, because there is too many possibility with 50 people to not be exactly the way I imagine things. But you know, sometimes, the color they propose me is much more beautiful than the one I even thought. Not always, but when it happens, it's magical.